What is up, guys, man? Uh, here with my boy Ben. That's right. Uh, you know, back here making another video for you guys. I feel like the last one was pretty awesome. What do you think, Ben? Absolutely. It went really well. We really enjoyed it, and we want to be able to bring in some consistent content for you guys. And so we're here again. We're taking some time out of our day to do what we love, and that is to encourage you guys to get the family going, to get you guys hyped up to talk about what we've been excited about. So Absolutely, so last uh, week, or maybe a week and a half ago, uh, me and Ben talked about, you know, you are who you surround yourself with, right Ben? Absolutely. And I think that was a, a key topic to kind of kick off this video series. And now from there, we're actually gonna move into garbage in, garbage out, yep. which is today's topic. And I think a really good topic to kind of follow up with on, not only are you who you surround yourself with, but also the things that your day consists of, the activities you do, and what you actually feed the mind, body, and soul. Yeah, it's key, it's key. And we were talking earlier about how you kind of got your start into becoming a better person. Right, Wanting right. to better yourself. Tell me about that. Yeah, absolutely, um, and thanks for asking. You know, so guys, I'm 25 years old. Uh, just getting life started, very young, but in the, the short time I've had, it's amazing what I've learned because I've kind of been on this personal development journey like we're talking about for a while now. You know, I go back to when I was 18 years old living in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I actually became a part of a network marketing company called Bima. And in that company, I was first uh, introduced to personal development. You know, actually reading books, uh, listening to videos like they're watching right now, and surrounding myself with mentorship and good people and things that really started to change me, started to work in and through me, and it's amazing, guys. It's, it's incredible. Now, for the last seven years, I'll be honest, I have not been consistent with doing those things. But the times I have been, my life's gone like this, man. And the times I fell off, honestly, I started hanging out with the wrong people again, quit yeah. feeding my mind, quit listening to podcasts, quit reading books, quit watching YouTube videos, and everything around me kind of fell apart. And then I always find myself again, pick up a book, read the book, meet new people, get the bad people out of my life, and my life right. takes off like that. So for me, it's it's tough to sum up for them in a video all of that, yeah. but to kind of dial it in from that, Ben, I will tell you that the major things for me I can say is garbage in, garbage out. If you just listen to rap music and you hang around, you know, garbage people that aren't doing anything with their lives, right. and you know, you're gonna reciprocate that into your life. But if you actually do take the time to read 10 pages a day, yep. the, to hang out with good people, to surround yourself with people that maybe are better than you, maybe you're doing things you want to do but you're not doing, yep. everything kind of begins to fall into place. And we'll dive into that a little more. I think a, a good example is you. Yep. So Ben's older than me, but Ben, for what, about a year now, you've really been personally developing yep. yourself? Yeah, it hasn't even been a year. It really, um and just to clarify, so you, like your springboard was a network marketing company and that kind of provided mentorship for you yeah, and, a, and a guideline. And then you springboarded off that and now you're doing that. Right, I don't do the company anymore. Yeah. You know, that was maybe a three year span of my life. Yeah. But it, what I took away from that company was I can teach myself. Yeah. I can become whoever I want to be. I can yeah. do anything I want to do in my life. Yeah. And all the information's out there, if not for free. Absolutely. And uh, so for me, I just started this in May. And so I've always been a person with high aspirations. You know, I went to nursing school. I was able to get my bachelor's in nursing and that was no easy task. Uh, I could have struggled a lot less though through nursing school because I didn't, I lacked the discipline when I was there. Right. And so really what it came down to was just a willingness to put in the work. Right. You know, I had to be willing to put in the work for, you know, my, my education when I was there. Now, in May, I was listening to a podcast, and what it was talking about was making an impact. You know, they're like, well, what do you love to do? Kind of that line of thinking. Some of you may have heard that before. What are you passionate about? Make that what you do, and you'll never work a day in your life. Kind of that kind of thought process. So, I was listening to this podcast. I was listening to this podcast, and I was thinking, all right, what do I love to do? And one of the things that I really enjoy is seeing other people succeed right you know that's one of the big things that i love in nursing is i just get to go for 12 hours and serve somebody where they're unable to do for themselves and i'm like well how can i do that on a bigger scale how can i provide value 
on a bigger scale because I love supporting my friends. If there's one thing that I'll brag on, um, it's always my friend circle. I'm surrounded by some of the highest quality dudes and it's made a huge difference in my life. But I'm like, okay, I, I love these dudes and we get together when we can and we really bring value to each other and encouragement, uh, spiritually, physically, uh, whatever it is, mentally. But I wanna expand that. And so I began doing personal growth, like you said. Uh, get myself locked in with some podcasts, get myself locked in with some books, uh, and having the willingness to do it. And that was a huge key, was just, I had to be willing to make it happen. Now in the time you've been doing that, reading the books, listening to the podcast, developing Ben, yeah. what has changed for you? Yeah, so for me, it's been a game changer, and in multiple different ways. One of them was, it, it took me from having these aspirations. We talked about me wanting to create value. Right. And what I did out of that was I started doing value injections and just chat with people about things that I've experienced right. and kind of getting them uh, locked into what I've learned so that they have a nugget. And so it took that from being something that was in my head and just kind of bouncing around in my subconscious, something I wanted to do but didn't know how, right. and it created it to be a realistic thing. It gave me the tools to know that it could happen and that really the only thing that was there was a willingness. And you can, if you're determined, whatever you want to do is doable. You right. Just have to so have what I'm hearing, there. Ben just said something key, and I don't know if you guys heard it. He got a spark. So the idea, the, the, the what, who Ben is, what you're capable of, it's in all of us. Like God gave it to us, yeah. but it's our job to spark it and to follow through with it. So what I heard you say was your why. Ben found his why. Ben found like, not only his why, the what and the how are now developing. They just kind of happen. So for you, as you began reading books, as you began listening to podcasts and audios and things like that, you realized you wanted to make a difference in other people's lives and impact, like you yeah. said, right? Mm -hmm. So by knowing you wanted to do that, you found a why. Yeah. Hey, you know, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do, but I know why. Absolutely. I want to do it Absolutely. so I think the key thing for our audience here is to understand that me and Ben don't expect you to be like us you don't have to make videos you don't have to want to make an impact in others lives if that's not what you were given from him that's okay but by doing personal development not feeding yourself garbage just like crappy food if you go eat fast food all week long, how do you feel, Ben? I feel terrible. And terrible. actually, I did that. I was, uh, you know, working. I when I work a stretch of shifts, it's like kind of uh, work, eat, sleep, repeat. Right. And right. so I was, I was coming home. I'm staying with my uncle right now. Phenomenal dude. And um, he has kind of a mentorship uh, role in my life. And so I, I've been staying with him, which has been a huge blessing in itself. But as I'm going home from work, I'm just stopping by Taco Bell because it's like it's feasible. You know, it's right, late at night. Right. He's already had dinner. You know, and um, so I'm just snagging Taco Bell, a Mountain Dew, whatever, and I'm feeling terrible. I'm like, I was talking with my girlfriend on the phone. I'm like, I'm getting Taco Bell. I'm gonna feel terrible in like an hour. And you knew before you even did it. I knew I hadn't even eaten a bite. And then, so you go into like, like the things that you do with your day, guys. Like we live in a, a culture cluttered yep. with social media. Yep. You scroll on your phone all day long. Mm -hmm. You listen to music that actually brings no value into your life. You, you hang around people that do nothing for you. How do you expect to become the best version of yourself? How do you expect to make your dreams a reality? So my challenge for everyone watching this video, and I think Ben would agree with me, is to spend some time alone. Pick up a book. If you need suggestions, shoot me a message. Shoot Ben a message. We have yep. plenty that we could recommend for you. Absolutely. Maybe uh, something you want to do, your passion, Go study the people that are doing it well. Read their books, watch their videos, study what they do. And by doing this, instead of feeding yourself garbage, you're feeding yourself value, a value injection into your mind and your body. And it's crazy because you will become a valuable person in the world. Could you not agree more? Yeah. Like I feel like I'm called to inspire other people to become the best version of themselves that was given to me I didn't know how I was gonna do it I didn't know what form I'm gonna do it, and I still don't know right now I'm we're shooting a video on iPhones in the middle of a park hoping it makes a difference in someone's yeah. life yeah. but I know why yeah. I know that that is the most fulfilling thing in the world for me yeah. when that one person watches this 
and it touches them and they go out and make a change in their life that helps them become a better version of themselves, then I'm doing exactly what I was called to do. Yep, definitely. I love, uh, I love what you're saying there. And what I'm hearing out of that as you're talking is just that it's doable. You know, you can have the desire to make it happen and you can say, yeah, I want to do it. You can verbalize it, right? right? But you have to do it. Right. Uh, you can have any amount of knowledge and knowledge without action is completely useless. And so what I'm hearing out of that is an encouragement for you guys. And that is that this is completely and entirely doable. Do you want to be a better person? Yes or no? If you said yes, it's doable. It can happen. And within a, a time that you, uh, you know, a amount of time that is shorter than you actually probably think, it can happen and it is happening. So for me, in March or April, I would waste days. You know, I'd waste an entire day doing whatever. I'd waste an entire couple days and have nothing productive out of it. And since I've been intentional, and since I've been, I've said that yes, where I'm willing to do it, right. and I've started to do it, it's just small steps and it's all completely doable. You know, that was one of the things that kept me back was when I was like, yeah, I've heard you need to, you know, you need to have higher value into your life. You need, what do you surround yourself with? You know, I growing up in a conservative Christian family, you know, I was very, um, it was very intentional by my parents for what they put into me, you know? And so I grew up with the knowledge that, you know, well, why don't we listen to this music, mom and dad? Well, because of this, because it's not a good influence, so on and so forth. So I had that there and I knew that it was important but I didn't understand how important. Right. And it's important enough for Cody and I to come here, to take the effort to come out here and talk with each other about a concept that we think is gonna bring value. And we wouldn't be here doing it if we didn't know the utmost importance, right. how important it was. So we're at, we're at, uh, we're at like 12 minutes now. Um, let's give them three key takeaways. Okay. Yeah. So yep. let's, let's give you guys three things been a conversation today we've talked about a lot there's a lot of value in that three things that someone watching this video you know could take away even if they just skip to these last you know minute of the video that they could apply yeah. to their life to make a difference you know I'll lead it off with okay. just start feeding yourself something valuable whether it's as simple as just getting in the habit of watching videos and content you like like ours or another person or read a book or a podcast Make it a habit. Do it daily, do it weekly, do it monthly, and just continue to do this and let it work in and through you. I'll kind of pass number two to you, anything you want to give them. Yeah, so I like that a lot. Um, I'll add on to that, books is a big one. Like right. you may not be a big reader, maybe try Audible okay. and just do audiobooks. Yes. Because it's pretty, it's very affordable. I think it's like maybe 15 bucks a month at the most, and you right. get a free credit, and then they have like bonuses and stuff on top of it. So very affordable, easy to do. You can kick a book on during your commute. And then books as well, um, because your brain in, uh, like intakes that more. Right. You, when you read, you're like hearing it in your like mind's ear. Um, so you're already getting kind of like the audiobook benefit, but you also like your imagination is kicking in and you're reading it too, so that it's another way to get it ingrained in your head. Right, so, so we got, so far guys, you can watch YouTube videos, podcasts, um, listen to Audible, read books physically. And then I think the, the final thing I'd like to give them is just um, kind of going off our last video. Surround yourself with people that are um, you know, doing the things you want to do, mm -hmm. that have the things you want to have. Um, we talked about this beforehand, how you have, were in Vegas a few weeks ago. Yep. And you know someone told you that they didn't grow as much when they didn't have a mentor in their life. Yep. I think we all need a mentor. I don't think you're ever too old to have a mentor. I don't think you're ever too successful to have a mentor. I think the most successful people we've ever met have mentors, and their mentors have mentors. Yeah. And, and I think that's key. I don't know if it's because of the accountability, getting to bounce ideas off a different person, a different point of view, but for some reason that mentorship is such a, a strong thing to lift you it's up. Huge. It's huge. And uh, just to wrap it up here, you know what you said, Cody, is huge and I think it's important for our audience to hear it um, even one more time and that is that this guy that I talked to he had been a book author right. um, he had uh, he's in real estate right now he had ran a business before and what he told me is he said Ben you know like I'm a driven guy I'm a hustler 
when I put my mind to things, I do it, right. and I do it well. He said, but the one thing that has been a common thread is that if, of everything that I've tried to do, the only time that I've been successful was when I had a mentor. Mm. Mm. And it, it's key. So, you know, Cody and I are putting ourselves out there to, um, to, to be that avenue. You know, we want to find some people that are hungry to do the same thing, and we would love to uh, get together, do some coffee, do whatever, talk about your goals, talk about your positive mindset, Absolutely. and just get you in on the community, because life wasn't meant to do alone. Life was designed to do with one person, two person, three people, or more. I think and it's a good it's segue at the end of this. Me and Ben got some things we're working on. We're really excited. We wanted to make a video about it today. We're not quite ready to make a video about it today, but we're getting there. Yep. I got a message the other day. Ben got a message. People are starting to reach out. You know, hey, can I, how can I get involved with what you guys are doing? Um, the first thing right now is maybe weekly or you know, bi-weekly, we're gonna start meeting up with people, whether it's a coffee shop, whether it's a park, wherever. We're gonna get like-minded people together. We're gonna get driven people together. There's no business goal behind it no like financial gain it's just right. the betterment of one another Absolutely. we're not circled around anything besides i want to see you succeed yeah. you want to see me succeed yeah. let's drive each other let's succeed no you know let's wrap it up man you know i'm csc inspires this yep. is ben baker with value injections you got it and i'll leave you guys with this what we're talking about today is completely doable if you have that question in your mind it's doable and then also, we want to encourage you guys, as always, to give without expectation of return, and there will be a guaranteed return. Would love, Cody and I, uh, either of us, would love to talk to you more about that. But we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, we'll see you again soon, next week, next for week. another video. And uh, thanks for uh, thanks for digging it with us. Yeah. And we'll we'll see you on uh, see you on the next one. God bless, guys.